You're watching the content being created here at the Sci Conference 2014 in London, where we talk to a lot of our keynote speakers, presenters, and our authors, because we have many papers signed in this year. Um, so let's get to know some of those authors, like Saleh Al Harbi, and um, you wrote uh, a paper that's on mobile learning and e-learning, which is obviously mobile is getting so big, yeah. a big future there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, I wrote a paper entitled "Mobile Learning," and we proposed like a framework to measure students' behavioral intention to use these systems. Of course that you can have like systems and you can implement like systems from technical point of view, but it's very important to measure your students' behavioral intention. If you have a system, does that guarantee that the students will use it? Then that's it's like information system is not all about technology. It's like ninety five percent about students or people. So we'll have to consider that. That's the idea of the paper. Because you would figure that, uh, because if you look around in a campus or uh, any uh, student area, uh, uh, populated area, you see people on their phone all the time. But so you're saying there's a big difference in using your mobile for uh, recreational purposes, just. Uh, updating your Facebook profile yeah. or actually using this as a tool to learn what, what do what would people withhold to use it as a as a learning tool then yeah well um, the like the thing is that like educators or uh, like like education provider they will encourage people to use mobile learning like you know to cut the cost of like of coming to the campus and stuff but if they put the systems does that guarantee that your students will like get rid of like using the Facebooking and chatting and in, in the campus and instead using like like portals, learning management systems that you put and so that we need to bring the student to use the system. So it's like device, devices are mobile, learner are, are mobile and like the course provider does not need to like put a physical lecture or theaters or something for students to come. So this is what encourages like to put mobile learning. What would be the advantage for uh, for a university or uh, a school system to to put more effort into developing also the systems uh, for mobile learning? What what would how would they benefit from it? Yeah, well, I think one of the main things is the like cost cutting, and like we if we focus like we can um, recruit like experts from all around the world to deliver the content of any subject through mobile systems. Like if, if you have an expert, like if you were from Australia, and if you have an expert in the field from the, the UK or the Canada, for example, and it's easier for um, like students to use mobile environment to get the information from there, rather than like bringing the expert over to the country and stuff that would be like costy. It's too bad for the experts, but it's yeah. it's better for the budget of the of the university. Yeah, it is. It is indeed. So yeah. If you want to read the entire paper of uh, Salah Al Harbi, uh, please check the IEEE uh, website. Uh, we'll try to make the the link available for you so you can read more about the mobile uh, learning and other content. Also on this website, you can watch entire keynotes and the pres presentations of our uh, uh, speakers here. Uh, thank you for watching this one, and don't forget if you like share and maybe we see you next year at the Sci Conference 2015.